This is revolutionary. For hundreds of years, maybe, we've been cutting cake wrong. So the traditional method, you just pop your knife in the centre, pull it down, and the same deal, and we cut out a wedge. Now that's a lovely slice of cake there. There's a problem. Once we remove that, These edges here, they're going to get all dry when we put them in the fridge because we can't eat all the cake in one day, can we? So when you want to pull it out the next day, share with your friends, these bits in here are going to be all dry. But there is a solution for that. About a hundred years ago, a bloke named Francis Galton from England, he published a letter to the editor in Nature Science magazine. It's called Cutting a Cake on Scientific Principles. And it's a, it's a solution to this dilemma that we have. Prolipse is anything with this equation. And the things that affect it, we've got this little value of n here, and we've got this a and b. Now this n, if that gets smaller and smaller, we're going to have this neat little star shape. And as that gets bigger and bigger and bigger, we get a squircle. Now when this value of n is 2, we have a perfect circle or ellipse if you've got different values of A and B because they just dilate it. So this here is our N equals 2. And for this, A and B are the same thing. A is just going to be how stretched out this is and B is how stretched out that is. So if they're the same, we're going to have this perfect circle. Once we start cutting our cake though, we start to decrease our value of n to about 1.5. As we make these cuts, we start to lose that round shape. So if we remove this, push this together, that's not a circle anymore. So if we decrease our value of n to 1.5 and decrease our a value to bring it in that way, we get this sort of football shape. It's got this sh these sharper edges and that's the first cut. And then for the second cut, we're decreasing our B value. Now at this point, they'll be the same, theoretically, but our value of N is still 1.5. So we're halfway between our perfect square and our ellipse. And we just keep doing this, and as we keep cutting the cake, our values of A and B just keep decreasing. And that's how we map this cake cutting method using a super ellipse. It's never going to go dry. So from this, I think it's pretty clear that the applications of maths are all around us. And they can be used to do fantastic things for the future, whether it's biomedical cataloging, uh, civil engineering. Innovation begins with exploitation. Exploiting a concept. Exploiting maths. Whether it's just uh, one little equation, the entire concept of the Cartesian graph system that allows us to map things like cake, things like uh, radioactive decay, fantastic things, and you know, it can be used in architecture, engineering, and we truly, truly believe that this is the future 